homewrecking hustler, serial womanizer, or match made in network TV heaven. Other than the flaming trail of devastation, these other red flags are flying high around the sizzling hookup. Well, it's a, it's a love story like none other you're about to hear about, folks. <laughs> When news of former 2020 anchor Amy Robach and former CNN anchor TJ Holmes' relationship first broke, the pair made light of the situation on air. While hosting their show GMA3 on December 2nd, 2022, Holmes joked, you know, It's too bad it's Friday. Is it? It's been a great week. We want this one to keep going and going and going. Staffers quickly urged the network to fire both anchors, with an employee confirming to the Daily Mail, We're a family-friendly network, and these two are not displaying family values or Disney's values. Both Robach and Holmes were pulled from the air. As TMZ reported, ABC News president Kim Godwin shared with the staff, while that relationship is not a violation of company policy, I have really taken the last few days to think about and work through what I think is best for the ABC News organization. Godwin temporarily replaced them until an internal review was completed. On January 27, 2023, an ABC spokesperson confirmed that post-review, Robach and Holmes were out, telling USA Today, after several productive conversations with Amy Robach and TJ Holmes about different options, we all agreed it's best for everyone that they move on from ABC News. Both anchors received hefty payouts and reportedly hope to make a comeback with their own TV show, but their brand may be tarnished for good. Neither of the party has spoken about their relationship, but according to one source, they have nothing to be ashamed of. Apparently, they both split with their spouses in August 2022, with the insider telling people, they were both separated, so they felt very comfortable dating in the open after that. Their spouses had moved out even, so they were not hiding anything. It was the only way I, we could stay friends because she runs so often that if you don't run with her, you're not gonna get a chance to hang out with her. But another source claimed that rumors of an affair had been swirling for at least a year because of their obvious chemistry. Even robots spoke about their bond, saying, "...the moment he started at ABC, I think we just clicked." Affair or not, we may never know for sure, but Robach's husband, Melrose Place actor Andrew Hsu, reportedly moved out earlier that summer following years of drama. Interestingly, the pair didn't get close to finalizing their divorce until after the scandal broke. As for Holmes' wife, attorney Marilee Feibig, she reportedly thought they were just taking a break, but working things out. A source told Page Six, "...she never thought about him with Amy because they were friends. The pair were indeed incredibly close." As Robach once told People, "...we've gone on tons of double dates with our spouses, and my daughters babysit his daughters." Robach may not be the only staffer that Holmes had his eye on. According to Page Six, he reportedly had a three-year affair with married Good Morning America producer Natasha Singh. Their relationship only ended in 2019 after Holmes' wife discovered incriminating emails. Holmes quickly called it quits to work on his marriage, but according to one source, he had a key to Natasha's apartment. Another indiscretion came to light in January 2023. As the Daily Mail reported, Jasmine Petaway was a 24-year-old intern at ABC. When she reached out to staffers looking for a mentor, Holmes agreed, and at first, things were professional. Then one day, Petaway was allegedly called to Holmes' office where they had sex shortly before he went on air. A source claimed, "...he just didn't seem to care. He's wearing his ring, he has a wife, he has a relatively high-profile job, he was a predator who took full advantage of his position, and he was reckless." An ABC insider validated the allegations, telling Page Six, "...there is already an internal investigation underway into if anything happened between TJ and Jasmine Petaway." The duo's romance isn't getting much support, and many of those detractors happen to be their friends. A source claimed even Robach's BFFs are anti-Holmes, telling Page Six, "...there are people who are super close to her, saying, "'What are you doing? Maybe you should think about this? No one wants a part of their mess.'" One of Robach's friends even told Radar Online, "...we are really trying to get through to her. It feels like Amy threw away her career. She's talented. She's so good. Why did she do this? How long is it going to last?" But the duo has lost favor professionally as well. A source alleged to Us Weekly, "...Amy and TJ have lost a lot of friends who are coworkers over this. They can't talk to them or trust them." Fellow news personality Megyn Kelly had no problem slamming the couple on her Sirius XM show. They cheated on their spouses. They cheated on their children. Stop projecting. I don't give a shit about anybody who I hurt." And yet, Robach and Holmes appear unfazed by the drama. Just hours after they were fired, The Sun published photos of them showing off some major PDA. Robach and Holmes aren't faring much better with their families either. 
Holmes has one daughter with his wife, Marilee, and as his wife's divorce attorney told the Daily Mail, Marilee's sole focus has remained on the overall best interest of her nine-year-old daughter. We continue to be disappointed by TJ's lack of discretion, respect, and sensitivity toward Marilee and the party's daughter. In January 2023, Marilee shared a post to her stories titled, What to Do When a Child is Worried, which many thought may be a cryptic message about her daughter. As for Robach, she and Andrew didn't have children together, but their kids from previous relationships had very different reactions to their blended family split. Robach's two daughters, Ava and Annalise, apparently aren't letting the saga affect them. As Hello pointed out, their Instagram posts have continued to be fun and carefree. Meanwhile, Shu's oldest son, Nathaniel, appears to be using Instagram as a way to post failed slights aimed at Robach. As Us Weekly noted, he posted a GIF captioned, Let's Just Move On. And The Sun also spotted him sharing a clip from The Notebook, in which Ali proclaimed, my mother is unconscionably rude. Looks like we'll just have to wait and see how this one shakes out.